guys, it's your boy Benny. Who are the worst people on earth? Well, it's gonna be really hard to narrow that list down, but let me give you two potential contenders that I think are quite aggressive here on who are the worst people planet earth has ever seen. Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein flying on his private jet down to his child abusing, child trafficking island. Why did Bill Clinton fly on Epstein's jet 27 times? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know why. Why has Bill Clinton never suffered these consequences? Was Bill Clinton part of a major intelligence operation ensnared and humiliated and swept under the rug? And did they get rid of all the evidence by killing Jeffrey Epstein? Well, we asked Tucker Carlson that question on a recent live interview, and you'll be very interested in hearing the answers. But first, the setup here is quite interesting as well. Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs have been subpoenaed in the Senate. These are, of course, the people that flew with him down to Little St. James to that island for entrapment by Mossad or the CIA or uh, some other clandestine intelligence operation for blackmail. So it's important to know who did this. It's important to know who were on those flights. But Democrats are blocking us from getting that information. Why? Jeffrey Epstein's dead. He's been dead for like four years. Why would they possibly block this? Dick Durbin was asked the question and uh, it didn't go great. Jen, um, why won't you subpoena Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs? So who are you? Hillary Vaughn with Fox. With Fox, of course. Uh, I don't know anything about his flight logs. But why won't you subpoena them? Why don't you want to know? I don't know the I issue. I know who Epstein was, but I certainly don't know anything about the issue. Well, he was charged with sex trafficking, so why don't you want to know who was utilizing his never private been, plane? Never been raised by anyone. Well, Senator Blackburn has wanted to subpoena them, and there hasn't been a vote in your he committee. said a word to me, not a word. But aren't you curious, like, what high-profile or powerful people might be closeted predators and pedophiles? Does that concern you? So why won't you subpoena them if you can? It's the first time anyone has raised it. Thank you, Fox. So do you, are you curious about it? Will you do it? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Last my. Last week, Primetime asked his office. So this is, of course, Jesse Waters continuing his reporting on Jeffrey Epstein and on Dick Durbin trying to cover up for the foremost predators on planet Earth, who include, of course, big time Democrats. Don't go after your own, right? What a scumbag. The continuation of that reporting right here. Senator Dick Durbin covering up for Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein's a dead child trafficker. And Senator Marsha Blackburn tried subpoenaing Jeffrey Epstein's flight log earlier today. And Senator Dick Durbin blocked it. Epstein's been dead for four years. Why can't we see who was on his jet? Why can't we know who went to his island? We already know Bill Clinton flew on Epstein's jet at least two dozen times, so who's Dick Durbin protecting? I assume Durbin isn't protecting a dead pedophile because he's a pedophile and he's dead. So Durbin's protecting the associates of a dead pedophile? Durbin's office says, oh, well, you know, they didn't have enough time to schedule a vote on the subpoena. Okay, they'll have time tomorrow. You're the Senate whip, Dick. You can make time. And they got a subpoena to go through Melania's underwear drawer, so you should be able to subpoena the Epstein flight logs. And Epstein had surveillance videos and hard drives seized by the FBI in Palm Beach, New Mexico, Manhattan, and in the Caribbean. It's almost like the government has no interest in tackling international sex trafficking. This means Epstein was intel, and Durbin is covering up for the entire op. What a bunch of animals. And how dare they pretend to care about women and kids? Yeah, okay. Again, uh, Democrats were really close to putting this guy back in the White House. This is, of course, Jeffrey Epstein's favorite client, Bill Clinton, after his presidency, or actually during his presidency, in fact. Here's reporting saying Epstein frequently brought women to Clinton's White House. Visitor logs reveal this is inside of the White House. Recognize anyone over here is Jelaine Maxwell, who's in federal lockup right now, making sure she doesn't talk. Yeah. So this is who they're trying to protect. Remember the painting of Bill Clinton inside of the dress. What does this mean? It means we got you, buddy, by the balls. Any comments on the alleged uh, allegation of your uh, connection with Jeffrey Epstein? Connection with Jeffrey Epstein, question. Bill Clinton, his response. I think the evidence speaks for itself, Bill Clinton says. Okay, well, what's the evidence? 
Bill Clinton flew on a sex offender's jet far more than previously known. Not a sex offender, although he is that, but he's also a child trafficker and the world's foremost pederast. This is the little island that is, of course, uh, a 72-acre island that is outside of the purview. Anybody ever know how, how did Jeffrey Epstein get all of his money? Can anybody explain that to me? How did Jeffrey Epstein get his cash? Not sure. Boy, it sure seems like an op. Can't deliver any goods or services to anyone. Well, of course, except for obviously the demonic goods and services that he did deliver. Uh, you have a little island with its own special little blue and white temple on it. And how'd, that, how'd you get the money for that? Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, all the questions pretty much end up with the same conclusion. Too many rich Democrats needed Jeffrey Epstein dead because of what they did on his island. A man who had his marriage broken up by his love of Jeffrey Epstein and his services is Bill Gates. Bill Gates was asked, uh, hey, what's your lessons from hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein, much like Bill Clinton flying on his jet and all? You know, I've said I regretted having those dinners. Uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing new on that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking looking at this? Well, he's dead. So, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, <laughs> he's dead. In general, you always have to be careful. There is one man who actually did ask questions about Epstein's death. Seems very convenient, actually, Epstein's death to a lot of these rich Democrats, powerful people. Uh, what are they trying to get away with here? Tucker Carlson did some bombshell reporting on how D D uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, may have been killed in federal lockup and who has the power to, of course, flip off the cameras in federal lockup with Jeffrey Epstein. Who, who are those people? Those people are the most powerful people on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tucker Carlson was on an X Spaces with us, and I asked, what about Epstein? Democrats are covering for him. Who was he? And why is he dead? Tucker Carlson, take it away. You got to watch out for what people are hysterical about or what they're trying to hide. The question is you're not allowed to ask. And one question that you're not allowed to ask that, again, you were the only person, you were the only person with any platform uh, of uh, of of sort of natural national syndication that asked the questions, how did Jeffrey Epstein die? And we just saw this week Dick Durbin blocking the subpoena of Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs. So once again, like you have the foremost predator, the foremost pederast in, in the world, uh, and there is a entire unified front in Washington trying to stop information getting out about who he was associated with and what he was doing exactly. So question, Tucker, uh, who was Jeffrey Epstein? How and why did he die? Uh, and why is why are some of the most powerful people in the world still trying to protect uh, the world's foremost uh, predator of children? Well, those are questions that I don't, strictly speaking, know the answer to. A lot of it is speculation. I, I happen to you know, know someone very well who knew Epstein very, very well. And I've talked with him a lot about it. And I know his brother, Mark, who just texted me about eight minutes ago, weirdly. Um, and I've talked to him quite a bit about it. And, you know, I, I don't know a lot of the details. Here's what I do know. He was murdered uh, in federal lockup in Manhattan in the special housing unit, which is supposedly the most secure place. I think there are eight cells total in there. And he was, I, I think, very clearly killed by one of the inmates uh, in there. And the question is why? And why can't we get the names of the inmates who were held with him from the Bureau of Prisons. Well, you can't. Why has no investigation ever been done into his death? It hasn't been done. Why was the Attorney General of the United States, Bill Barr, lying about all of this, which he absolutely did? Go and read his autobiography, his description. He's lying. He's, he's saying things that he knows are not true. So why is the Attorney General of the United States covering up the murder of Jeffrey Epstein? I can't begin to guess. I mean, I, the speculation, as I'm sure you know, is that he worked for not just U.S. intelligence, which he, he did, but for a number of different foreign intel agencies. And that was certainly the world he lived in. And he was operating a, a blackmail operation on their behalf. And I think that sounds right. Can't prove it. I think that's right. And I think it's, you know, it's like an Agatha Christie novel. There's any number of suspects in his murder. But you would have to think, given the nature of it, like who has the power to get into federal lockup in downtown Manhattan? Now, who could pull that off? Who could actually do that? Seriously. Could the mafia do that? No, the mafia could. The, the Sicilian mafia could not do that. 
Could Google do that? Nope. Google could not do that. The only people who could do that are an Intel agency. That's it. That's the only, and there are only a few who have the power to do that in the United States, and one of them did it. So, you know, I don't know, and I do know as I interviewed people, I, I spent, a, you know, a while on that story. I did it myself because I was interested because I've been talking to his brother, Mark, who reached out to me, who's very upset about it, not because he's political. He's not political at all. He just, it's his brother and he's mad about it. And he's been stymied at every turn trying to get the information. Um, but as I called people, no one wanted to talk to me. I got hung up on. And finally, I reached someone who said off the record, like, think about it, man. Whoever killed this guy, not that we're mourning his passing or anything, but like whoever did that, did that in a federal detention center in the most secure area of that detention center in the United States of America. This is not Honduras. So who who could do that? Well, you know, can't say with any specificity, but I can say it's someone who could certainly kill me if he wanted to. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't fuck around here. And and that makes sense to me. I mean, that's <laughs> perfectly a, that's a logical conclusion. So I can. But but I'm kind of fixated on the Bill Barr thing. I have nothing against Bill Barr personally. He's a liar, which is a problem if you're the attorney general of the United States. And he's lying about Epstein's death. And why is that? And I, I asked, I mean, I sort of know him. I have for a long time. He was attorney general before in a previous administration. He's been around D.C. for many years. And we just put it to him directly. What, what is this? Why were you lying about? Why were you covering up the murder of a guy? In your jurisdiction, you know, the attorney general is the chief law enforcement officer. Bureau of Prisons falls under him. Y you were effectively holding this guy and he got murdered by somebody. Why aren't you interested in finding out more? You know, it's like kind of an amazing, amazing question, don't you think? <laughs>